finesse it all day we've done seven pieces of wood. Still works. Yeah, just one, 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 Good, beautiful Sunday morning. Beautiful Sunday morning. There's a clue to what we're doing today. Uh, it's five past eleven on the 28th of July and it's porch roof day finally. I've just had it up, put it on Instagram, showing a picture of the uh, my Mac, watching the video of Dan on Skill Builder, showing how to pitch a, basically pitch that, a lean to roof. And it's a video showing how you do it without knowing the pitch, where you've got a fixed wall plate at the top and fixed one at the bottom, which is what we've got. Um, Dan's very kindly sent us uh, one of his um, his roofing squares. He sent us one of his seconds as a gift, which we're very, very grateful for. He's a good lad, Dan. And um, we've just been to Lancashire Timber with it being a Sunday. Um, they have good trees of timber, so we've got all that. Loaded up. The rest of it, and we've got the roof patterns. So we've got the um, treated treated four by two for the spars and the wall plates, and we've got uh, treated battens for the obviously for the roof battens. And then t tomorrow we're working close to the building. Uh, tomorrow we're working close to the roofing supplies. So we're going to pick up the felt and the tiles, and then back to Bursco whenever we can to get the fascia board. It's frustrating because it's all small bits, so we're going to have a lot of offcuts that we won't be using, like the fascia board and the soffit and stuff like that, and then the gutter. So there's loads to get: gutter, gutter clips, uh, downspout, all that palaver, and then we've got to do a bit of underground drainage to connect it all up to the surface water, not the not the foul. So um, once Alex comes out, we're going to get all the gear out and get cracking. Yeah. Top wall plating first. So I've measured that. Up there, 1780. Um, nice square line with the roofing square. And our nice saw, so let's get this out. Just come around here, oh, I'm on this side. Once your cut started, you've got a little gap here. I know. I know they say for a right-hander, the re the rear handles better, but you've you've got a nice window there to see the blade through there, which is handy. Once you've got once, once you've lost your line on the front there, you can still see it in down there. So this is ready to go up now, and we're just going to use grabbers on this. Probably put half a dozen grabbers in it. So we'll need the SDS and the rattler and some grabbers, which we've got anyway, and the WD. Okay. That was short lived. Got our wall plate on. Got seven grabbers in it, so that's solid. And we've just gone to put the wall plate on here, which I know we should have done earlier, but we just never got around to doing it. We should have bedded it. The reason we're definitely going to bed it now is because it's got a dip in it in the brickwork, so rather than just trying to pack it up and mess about with it. And it's like our level, so that needs lifting, so you've got a gap under it there. Gap there. Instead of messing around with packing everything, we're just going to put the uh, put a thin bed under it, get it in the right place, get it bedded, and then we can just fix it down. Yeah, a bit, uh, bit quiet for work next week, so we've got Monday's work, and we're just going to do Tuesday on this. 
get a full day on it, get an early start on it, make sure we've got all the gear we need. It's like post-mix by the judging by the tiny little stones. Yeah, must be. I've never bedded a wall plate of concrete before. Huh. Ow! He's here! Yeah. Oh yeah, can I have two of the doubles with it? one flake in each please? Yes please. Yes please. Can you shape it? Shave it on one, please. Yes, please. Cheers, thank you. Can you stick it? Oh, it's alright. Can you see the flight? I remember when 99 was 99p. Yeah. You know, we go to Super Trail. It's two months to Blue Man. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the knife? Yeah, it's like he's going there, yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd done it. No. Oh. Uh, it's hard to get, can you pick me up on the mic? Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get a tight bed because it's a, it's a bag of Master Creek cement. But it's a bag of it's actually a bag of post mix, so it's full of stones. Show them the stip, show them the mix. That's it. Oh, that back. Happy Tuesday, the thirtieth of July. Uh, roof construction attempt number two. We now have a plate in place. We have um, got our straps, we've got two straps. Maybe get a third one for the short one. Maybe. We'll see, we can always put that on after. Yeah, I think three is better. And we've got our wall plates fixed to the top. So we've got Dan's video on YouTube to watch on how to get your um, your spars cut without knowing the angle. And um, I'm going to get all set up and get cracking. for tomorrow in the sand. So our underfelt, there's our tiles. We had, they had the Marleys and they had these man, Manuk. I personally can't see any difference. So um, we went for the cheap ones, why not? And uh, the dry verges there. I've worked out we need six of each side. And that lot came to 138 quid. So I'm quite pleased about that. 50 tiles, a roll of that stuff, and a dozen drive edge. So yeah, let's crack on. Right, got our weapons of choice. The 12 volt SDS and the Rattler. Are you in the six foot level? Oh, yeah, in the six foot level. I'm sure the six foot level, because I'll show the phone number on the van then. Yeah, 
bang on that. Hey. You expected any less? <laughs> yeah, it was actually. <laughs> the look we've had on this porch, yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to have to have a word with Mum. Oh yeah, tell her to turn yeah, that down. Going to copy strikers. Yeah, she'll be after us in court. Um, fly, take measure please, mate. She'll fly over in a jet in a suit. <laughs> Could do some insulation down here as well. Did you see that those air uh, stop oil accuracy of a sabotage the jet? No. They, they, bloody, uh, they did all the bloody orange stuff with it on a private jet. Well, I don't, I, I'm not uh, I'm not too um, bothered about private jets. That's what I was thinking, yeah. If they, if they did stuff like that... Pick on people like that, yeah. Not people on the motorway trying to get to work. Yeah. Um, defenders, please, mate. Right, we're trying to go into the end of the brick, not the not the perp. Let's grab us a better into solid brick. Ow! Right. Just need my glamorous assistant back. As I get down the ladder, I've dropped my ear defender on the floor. Um, I need you to screws, please. I've, uh, I've sort of tailored out. I don't think we're going to need this, this angle iron lintel on the front, you know. I was thinking that. I thought if we're not putting bricks on, not doing much, is it? Usually it's for the soffit to sit on, but the soffit can self support itself over that. Thank you. We need to make sure we get the insulation stuffed in there as well. <laughs> right, tape measure please mate. I've got to make sure this I think it's one metre and forty. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So you need to get through your wall plate, then double check it, and then drill through the brick. And make sure you drill through the, the end of the brick. Yeah, not through a hole. <laughs> yeah, or a, or a perp. It's a millimetre out. Oh, no. Don't tell Tony. Or Alex. Hmm? Don't tell Tony or Alex. Hmm. Back out. Take it back out. Back on, leave it in. Just double check your measurements. Yep. Okay. Weird. You got the level. Yeah, it's too high. Push it down by it with your hand. Look at it, it's silver now. Yeah.
much better. Yeah, that looks better. A couple of mil high, but maybe the others will bring it down a bit. Hopefully, yeah. And this is Tony show that we're doing more than just brick clean. Hey. Sure, show Tony we're doing this. You'll think we've uh, took on a... Have the rattler please. Come back a bit. Go a bit closer to your last one. And then we'll get another one then. Grab a, uh, grab a please, bloody hell, that's, bloody hell, what, that dust is hot. <laughs> Go deep enough. I thought I'd lost a bit. Oh. Oh. So the things then, the, oh, the wall plate straps. Yeah. Did we just screw them straight in? You need little screws to go into this. Look at that. Why is that so loose? Better. I need some little screws, mate, to put these in with. Uh, what, do you want a pencil? We could use that white pen or the red, not pencil. Where are those pens? We're going to have to put it about, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight screws in each vertical bit. That way. But not every hole. We're not doing a, we're not in a hurricane area, are we? No. Mm -hmm. Is it working? Yeah. Pull that way, let's see. Where? That's worked. Mm hmm. Right, so we've got six grabbers in the plates, the plates fixed and parallel and level. We're just putting the straps on. So oh, let's just we're not putting every we're not putting a screw in every bloody hole. So let's just mark every other one there. So we can get them drilled out now. And then I'll drill it from the top. What size bit? You're in the right one, so you need the red plugs. These ones. Yeah. Maybe start putting WD on these, we can put them in. Maybe, yeah. This won't come out. What? The top bit.
이거 하나로 바우 Feels weird doing all this. Hey? Feels weird doing all this. Feels what? Feels weird doing all this. <laughs> Carpentry. Yeah. One more, please. Can I have one more, please? Can you? Can I have one more, please? Another screw. Give it a wobble, you say. It's going nowhere, that. It's going nowhere, that. Dad? Are we going to try and get a window in today if we've got time? Hopefully, yeah. Because that's just, that's just a case of opening it and putting grabbers in, isn't it? Yep. Ow! Ow! If we do get if we do get the window in, do we need expanding foam? No. Just silicon. Mm -hmm. Right, we're setting the first spar up and we just held it hold it where it was, hook it on where it was. Oh no, it has to drop down anyway. Yeah, anyway. So hold it hold it level with the top. I'm gonna hang on, hang on it. This is this is how Dan shows us how to set it up anyway. So you set it up, you put a nail in the depth of your bird's mouth at the top, then you mark it there and you mark it this end, and when you cut cut it, everything drops down. So it drops down the depth of the I think 33 mil bird's mouth. So all that's too high at the moment. But if you um drop it down so it's flush, I think Yeah, that's gotta drop down 30 mil yet, so Mm, lift it up again to flush. Flush? Yeah, yeah, because this end, this bottom end's got to drop out. Right, get back. We're going um, to gonna lower that wall place at the top and lower it down to the just point of the bed, Al. Mm -hmm. The point where we're taking it down to, to that bed there. Yeah, for the sake of taking a few screws out and redoing it, we'll, we'll do that. I don't want the pitch too high. As I keep saying, so it's better to lower it, and then we don't want to be um, piecing up bricks on the ends. I'd rather knock a few off. So it's a lot easier to take the wall plate off and redo it than start messing around with the brickwork. So yeah, trial and error. We've never ever done anything like, like this before. I've helped people where they know what they're doing, but um, we haven't got a clue. We're we're, we're just relying on skill builder in Dan's video. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, we'll take this thing off, get it dropped. Looks like a 90s rep album now, this camera angle. Bird? We'll just get one in and then we can level it then. That's going to be in the bed, that. Mm. Drop it a tiny bit or lift it a tiny bit. Let's have a look at it. See if it's got a crown in it. No, it's quite flat, so we could do that with it. It should help. Right, now get a spirit level please, I'll say. Go on. Up, and in. Up a touch. Up, down a bit. Still all right. Back a bit. Tap it down a touch. Hmm? Tap it down a touch. Oh, back up a touch. That's it. Not drilled it enough. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take that. That is hot dust, bloody hell. So you've got to see that. I'm going to drop the drill. And it fell on the bloody drill bit. Luckily, I think see the drill bit's bent. Yeah, so we're going to need a new 6mm bit. That's a good one, that as well. Uh, yeah, we're back to back to where we started now. Let's get cool wind, like here. Um, that's going to be bricked up a little bit more, but just uh, the reach some homework. is fixed and obviously the plate's fixed, so I don't know the... Um, yeah, because you've got to be at a certain height below those windows. We actually got that window up there. We're up to here yeah, now, so we're just consulting... Uh, so we've got about nearly 300 mil down We're tight. consulting our roofing right, messiah to... Uh, got plenty of room there for tiles to go Figure out the next step. And then they, they could be probably 200 mil also of have lead, so we will usually around 150. Right. So, uh, yeah, Good. thank you, Dan, for... Uh, um, Done that. Top angle, we'll just guess that. It's just to begin with, just to get it closer. That line, 4x2, we're going to scribe it in down there like that. That's our plumb cut. And then the same thickness off of the plate there. So you need that to be vertical? Yes, plumb with, uh, yeah. on the plate there. Yeah. So now we've got our two plumb cuts. So we still don't know what pitch it is. We've done 33mm roughly. So we go 30 Right. We have to mark that plumb off there. And then we have to mark it plumb off the back of the wall plate. And then. Right. And then we'll come back to it from there. So I need you up there, please.
How's it fit? Shit hot. Go down a bit, tap it down a bit. Any better? That's flush. Flush? Right, well it needs to go back a bit. It needs to go back about... Six mil, so it sits flat on the plate. So you want six mil cutting off here? Is it is it is it going to be a parallel cut on that? So if we follow that cut, is that going to be bang on? I should imagine so. Is it nice and flush now? That's flush, yeah. So that sits nice and flush there. Right, so right, follow Dan, and don't forget we're bricklayers, so we've done the best we can. It sits lovely on that. His instructions perfect. It's our, our following it. It's um, a bit iffy. See, we're up against this wall plate, which is um, wonky because you can't put a straight wall plate onto wonky bricks. So that thing is sticking out. It's like it's pushing out off the wall. So we're trying to get our cuts flush with that. So as long as that's nice and flush, we'll just parallel it back and take. I'd say about six, seven mil off that. So um, let's get it back down and trim it back and. Then, We'll be right then, and then we'll be able to set this, the roofing square up off this then, and then we've got our angle. It's Christine being on the video, just supervising us. Short, hmm? don't cut too much off. Only about, only like three mil. Yeah. Once the nail's in, it'll, it'll put, pack it up. We should have um, used that as a pattern and just copied off it. Hmm? We should have just used that as a pattern and copied off it. Now we've got to set it all out again. Kissing hell. Well, you can't exactly get the nails out of this no, one. No, it's not coming back out. Twelve fifty-five from our ridge to our plum cut. Right. We need to know what angle it is, though, don't we? Um. Can you get me the get me the square, please? The roofing square. Both of them, please. So first one's in, and. We should have not put so basically. We should have not put that one in, so we could use it as the template to cut the rest from. But we realised too late because it's nail gunned in now. So we're just uh, figuring out, working our way around the roofing square, watching Dan. And then once we've got this one cut, this one will be our reference point. Mm. So that one's not coming up. And then while Dad gets them cut, me and Mum are just going to the tip and get rid of some rubbish from last job. So we're getting a few tasks done. Yeah, yeah so s slow progress, but it's progress. Considering we're bricklayers, I think we're making good progress. We won't be doing another roof. This will be our first and last roof. They're obviously this video and they'll start recruiting you. Dad almost that 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 that's not the best with technology, and he was he was trying to fall out with this thing because he couldn't uh, get it tuned until I stepped in. But um, oh damn, still works. Uh, we, we, Just one little 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 bit. Okay, boss Nass. We uh, we spoke to Dan, and what was it? Four twenty. 420 centres. 420 centres for the uh, spars, so we're going to have five. Is, 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 we've lost a spar, but we would have ended up with two spars like, like right next to each other. Yeah, so. so if we stretch them out to 420, we get nice, evenly spaced spars. Then we'll have five, not spars, rafters. Rafters, yeah, not spars, bloody hell. That's me, that. But yeah, so we've got a plan, and we have an, we have an idea what we're doing. So thank you, Dan, again. <laughs>
pores in the roof construction. Let's give them a little heads oh. up. Maybe get the bar. Told them they would, but expect it. Oh no, I don't think I actually. So I think we're going for a vaulted ceiling to keep just. Christian wanted a high ceiling and I think a vaulted ceiling is going to be simpler. So we're just going to put some um, batten on the bottom of those 4B2s to bring them down a bit so we've got 100mm insulation and an air gap over the top between the felt and the insulation. Should work out okay. A lot of less work in it because we have to put, stud it all out. Basically put a stud up for the ceiling there. Mm. And it looked nice as well with the vaulted ceiling. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tiles are in, felt's in. We just need a Jason now to come and advise us. I know where Dan's got give me his hotline number, but um, you need somebody here to actually show you or actually do it for us. So I'm, I'm waiting, Jason, to get back to us. Yeah, there's and, the um, with Jason straps. Him, with Jason helping us, the three of us can tackle that as well. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, another another little step. Said to Alex, been at it. Said to Alex, we've been at it all day. We've done seven pieces of wood. It's a big, it's a big visual step, though. Yeah. Yes. Right, Al. 